the future text is, I, have, I don't know, uh, but it seems likely to me that it's going to become more saturated with meaning. Because when we first started using words, we were speaking and they were a way of turning others to the world and showing people the world as we saw it. Uh, but once they became written down, they became things, and we took them more as labels that stand apart from the world and point into it. And, and this sort of uh, metaphysics, I guess, is um, pretty much, I think, how we feel about the digital world these days, the virtual world, that it's, it's a layer separate from the real world. Um, maybe sometimes, and sometimes it's just weird, like the uh, green screen, I, I have it completely behind me. Um, but for the past 15 or 20 years, I, I think text has been changing in that regard because on the, this new global platform, public space that we have for one another, it becomes really obvious and important and, and troublesome that words lose context. And so a lot of effort has been put into providing words with semantics um, in lots of different ways. Uh, semantics that provide uh, some type of context for it, whether it's the provenance of the, of the words or what language they're in or um, the, the category of the, what the words are talking about, the tags and, and the like, and links. And we've, we've together uh, created billions and billions and billions and billions of links that connect words and other things to things online and thus out into the world. Um, and these links can use, uh, have any sort of meaning that we want. It can be a reference, a footnote, it can be a disagreement, it can be an explanation, it can be to an illustration or whatever. And all the different ways in which things can be put together, links can do that. And so together we have built this words into this enormous web of significance and meaning, including obviously through the semantic web as well. Um, in fact, you can think about links as being a new type of punctuation. And traditionally, punctuation generally has separated things, but links connect them in all of these different ways. And it is, it's an epical and world-changing um, development that we have created this, this linked world. Uh, which means, I think, that, that words are becoming, um, as they gain the context and relationships and links, they're becoming less like labels that hang off of the world and are becoming more like the world, more densely connected in ways that are open-ended. It's not like there's a, only a canonical way of connecting things. No, we link whatever we want. And that's how we now see, it's how words and thought and meaning work. And so words are becoming, I, when we think about them, I think less like signs and labels and representations and more of a deeply integrated part of the world and in fact, like the world. It's not a representation of the world. And I would say this is happening for the digital realm as well, but words are not a representation of the world. They are that within which we dwell. Thanks.